And so this one actually will just be a collection portion of the video, not a declutter, because these are uh, palettes that I'm still working on trying out. So I'll show you everything in this pile, but none of these will be decluttered. So first off is the Flower Bomb palette from Midas Cosmetics. I picked this up at the same time that I picked up the Lemonade palette, so if it's as dried out as that one, I'll probably let this one go too, um, but I haven't gotten a chance to try it yet. Then I have the LA Girl, and actually I have tried this one a couple times. This is the LA Girl. This is one of their holiday palettes. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. I haven't put it in a ranking yet, but I just don't think I need it, and I think somebody else could get some use out of it. The packaging is super pretty on it, though. Like, look at all the sparkles. So there we go. Surprise myself. This is the Odin's Eye and Hummingbird. I'm sorry, Odin's Eye and Fancy Face Hummingbird palette, um, and this is the multi-chrome shade in this one. Really pretty color story, but I just haven't used more than this multi-chrome yet, so I haven't made my opinion about this palette yet. I have the 2000s Dance Remix palette from BH Cosmetics, which I just had to pick up because of the purples and blues and the cool tone color story. I could give two craps about this bottom row, but the top two rows definitely sold me, so that's why I picked this one up. And it was on sale at Ulta at one point. Shocking. Uh, this is the Serenity palette from Menagerie and Annette's Makeup Corner. Very, very beautiful um, color story. I've only used one or two shades out of here so far, so need to try that one some more. The Sunrise palette from Natasha Denona. I've only used this one, I think, twice, but I do think the colors in here are really pretty. I definitely can understand that this was, like, not as advanced as the other. I can definitely see how this was more of, like, a beginner palette for her than some of the other ones that she's putting out now, because there's definitely better textures and finishes in the other palettes, but I'm going to keep this one. Thank you, baby. I'll see you very soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, my kids just got up from their nap and they are ready for a bath, so I need to finish this up quickly. This is the Alien Cosmetics Not Normal palette, which I think looks really pretty. I love the combination of the greens and purples, so I need to give that one a try. This is the Profusion Desert Sage palette, which I've swatched out on my uh, TikTok, but I haven't um, played with this one on my eyes yet, so I need to give this one a try and see what I think of this color story as well. The other palette that I picked up from Storybook Cosmetics was the Burn Book palette, and this one originally was $55, and I just couldn't justify the cost, but then it went on sale and it went on clearance, so I picked it up on clearance price, and I think I just paid like $7 for this, or it was like free if I bought something else, I don't know. But anyway, I got it for cheap. I have two, I'm sorry, three of these LA Girl palettes. I have the main stage, which looks like this. I really need to play with this one. It's so pretty. And then I have Festy Bestie, which I swatched out on my TikTok in case you wanted to see what that one looks like. Super pretty as well. And I have this Desert Dream. If I can get it open. Oh my goodness. There we go. Alright, I have two of these Profusion palettes that they put out for Halloween this past year. This is um, New Moon Rising, which has one pressed glitter, not a huge fan, but the rest of the color story I really like. And then this Mercury Retrograde palette, which has two pressed glitters there and there. But the rest of this cool toned color story I'm really, really drawn to, so I'm going to hang on to that. I had picked up this Electric Violet palette from, what is this, Rimmel? I think, yeah, Rimmel London, to compare to the Urban Decay Violet palette. And as you can see, they are incredibly similar. Not exactly the same, and this one has like a little pop of blue, um, but incredibly similar. So at some point I'll do some swatches of this one. Do I even need to do that? I feel like I kind of don't even need to bother doing that. I think I'm just going to let the Rimmel one go. That way it can go to a new home. And then we're going to keep the ultraviolet, even though the quality on that one is very so-so. This is the teeniest, tiniest little eyeshadow palette I ever found. <laughs> it has a really pretty red blush. And then these uh, four shades here. I was going to do a video doing like the smallest makeup in my collection, like a video of all the smallest makeup in my collection. I just don't know that I'm going to get time to do that one. So I may just let this one go um, to somebody else because I haven't used it. This is the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. I am ashamed to say I haven't used this one yet, but it's because I wanted to take pictures before I ruin all the uh, embossings in this one because the embossings are so pretty. So it's on my list. 
Um, this ColourPop quad, this is, what is this, Tender Loving Cancer. Such an odd name for a palette, but I do like the little kind of purpley, mauve colored story, so I'm going to hang on to that one. I picked up this Midas Cosmetics palette, like, before they announced they were closing, and I haven't used it yet, but it's got this, like, really grungy um, kind of color story, so I'm going to hang on to that. I picked up this Rowan quad during the Boxy Charm sale because these quads are super expensive, but in the sale they were like a lot more affordable and they're cream shadows and thankfully are not dried out. But you can see how pretty they are, nice and sparkly there. So I'm going to be hanging on to that one. And it comes in its own like cute little bag. So bougie. So bougie. I have the Melt Mary Jean palette, which I have not yet used, but looks absolutely beautiful. I know everybody's like so hype about these shimmers not being very good, but they look really chunky, and I'm kind of down for that, so I'm excited to give this one a try. Then I have a bunch of ColourPop stuff here. I have Cherry Crush. I have Golden State Warriors, which is like yellow and blue. I have Chicago Bulls. Then I have the Lakers, and who else? The Mavericks. I think there's only like two or three of these that I haven't picked up, and I don't really care anything about basketball, but I thought those were actually really inventive color stories for ColourPop. And then I have the Child palette, which looks like that. This is such a beautiful shade. It has this like, ugh. It's like that gold reflectance I really like. And then this is the Tinkerbell palette, which I've used like once or twice, but I wanted to use a little bit more. All right, this is the Chocolates by Juvia's Place. This is the other like super dark palette that I have that has these like browns in it, um, which is why I think I can let go one of my other palettes. So I'm going to hang on to this one and let go of that other uh, Nubian palette. These are the two Sugar Pill palettes I haven't tried yet. This is the Capsule, the Anniversary Edition, which is... Uh, their 10th anniversary and then this one was the Halloween palette so I need to definitely give those a try as well. I have this palette from NYX um, which just is like basically a lot of shimmers and these purpley shades looked so pretty that's why I picked this up and then it has this really pretty like pink to gold duochrome who's surprised not me because that's like literally all I buy but I do feel like I have those shades in other palettes too, like especially my um, Makeup a Murder palette. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one too. Believe it or not. All right, I've got a little bit more color pop here. I've got the Lush Life palette, which I bought when it went down to $5. That's a phenomenal price. And then I also have the um, Nightmare Before Christmas palette. I had never actually sat down and watched this movie when I was a kid. <laughs> but my kids became really obsessed with it around the time that this actually launched so I went ahead and picked this up because I thought they'd be really excited about it and I like the color story. From um, Colourpop I also have the Star Wars palette. I haven't had a chance to use this one yet either but it looks so pretty. I can't wait to give that one a try. From Sugar Drizzle I also have this topper palette that they put out. This was the Halloween palette from last year. It was limited edition but I think they've restocked it once or twice since it went out of stock so you might be able to catch it again. Um, from Glaminatrix Cosmetics the other palette that I picked up from them which thankfully they allowed me to combine shipping because the shipping from Australia is salty. This is the um, Sandra Rose palette which looks like this. It was done after her mom I think. Um, but the palette's really pretty. These are like super mini. I mean you can see how small the pans are. These are like super tiny pans but I think the color story is really pretty and so I was just excited to be able to get the color story at all because it had gone out of stock before I even discovered them as a brand. So I picked that up on their restock in the fall. Then I did pick up some BH palettes when I was at TJ Maxx. They were $7.99, so I got the Switzerland palette, which I haven't used yet, but you can see there is kind of like greens and burgundies. I got the Barcelona palette, which is more like blues, and some cool toned browns, a couple pops of orange. And I got Summer in Saint-Tropez, which looks like that. It's definitely just lots of brights and interesting colors. And then this shade and this shade look really, really pretty in there. So I can't wait to give those a try. 
Then I picked up two palettes from Muse Beauty. So I have this one, which is the Honoré palette, I believe is how you pronounce it. And it looks like that. And then I also got this palette, which was Triumph of Venus. These were a limited edition, I believe. And it looks like that. This is such a pretty color story. I can't wait to give this one a try. Then I have another one of these Nika K palettes. Um, so I'll give this one a try at some point, and then um, we'll see if I want to keep that or not. Then the most recent things I picked up were the Thor Love and Thunder palettes. So I got this one and this one, which is actually magnetized together. Like that. Easily amused, aren't I? All right, so just kidding. I have another quick pile to go over with you. <laughs> so P.S. Um, this is the Serenity pa palette from Cosmic Brushes, and it looks like this. I actually just was playing with this over the weekend. I really like the formula so far, so I can't wait to keep giving that one a try. Um, so far, so good. This is my stack of palettes I've been working on trying most recently. I have the ColourPop, uh, what is this, Powerpuff Girls collab, which looks like this. Again, there's some pressed glitters in here, so I think I need to do some shuffling around to get rid of um, the pressed glitters, but that's that one. I have the Saints Angels Sinners Cosmetics and Funny Butter Best Buds palette, which is like a weed-themed uh, dual-chrome topper palette. I really like this one, too. I have this little one. This came from the Sure Thing collection that just came out with ColourPop. This is the Wait and See quad. Very, very nice. I've used that once so far. I picked up a couple of shades from Glaminatrix that were singles and then two from Touch of Glam. Um, so those are just some singles I'm giving a try. And then this is the Hip Dot and Girl Scouts Caramel Delight palette, which actually is scented. Oh, I'm so happy it's scented but I really like this color story too. And then if you guys caught some of my other prior videos, you will have seen that my husband was kind enough to get these for me. Um, so I have both the Muerte and the Vita palette. So there's Muerte and here's Vita and I've been using them. Vita I haven't used so far, but Muerte I've used a couple of times. And then I did pick up their Amore Imeripolis palette whenever it went half price on their website. Actually, it was like 60% off, so I picked this one up. And I've only used it once so far. So like I said, I'm still trying these palettes out. I have the Melt Millennial Pinks. As you can see, I'm on quite a melt kick right now. And this was another gift from my husband. This is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette. Uh, this is volume two, so this is the more pinky toned one. And having this palette with these shades in here, I think is even more reason for me to give up the Vlada palette because they're just so similar. I don't need that many palettes with the same color story. And then lastly, this is the Blend Bunny Surge palette. I've been trying this one out for so long and I, I love it so much, but I hate to put it in a ranking if I haven't used like everything because it's all like so different in here. I mean, you have like these really soft shades, these really dark shades, you've got neons. So I just continue to try it and I haven't committed to ranking it yet, but hopefully within the next month or two, I can rank that one. All right, now for real, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my kids' interruptions. It is time for me to get them in the bath, so I will catch you guys later. Bye.